All right guys, so today we're gonna to talk about spotting. Spotting is extremely important if you're gonna be doing heavy weight, if you're gonna be maxing out or doing burnouts with heavy weight, anything where you might not be able to get the weight up yourself by the end of it. So it's important to have a good spotter for one that knows what they're doing, and it's important to be a good spotter so you can, so your friends aren't in danger whenever they're lifting. And it's important to have great communication with your spotter so they know when to come in, they know how much to help, and they know what your expectations are. You know, Isaac and I, the cameraman Isaac, every time we lift together, I know exactly when he's gonna bench. He doesn't even have to count down or anything for a lift off or anything like that because we lift together all the time. So that's why it's another good reason to have a constant, a consistent workout partner you lift with all the time. First type of spotting I wanna talk about is probably the most common. It's gonna be spotting anything with a barbell. So most commonly, it's bench. Um, bench, shoulder press, no matter what it is, when you're, when you're using a barbell on a press motion, you need a spotter there to help you get it up in case you can't because the weight would be directly on top of you or coming directly on top of you if it's shoulders. So there's a couple different ways to do this. There's either the spotter that is gonna come in just when you're slowing down just to keep it moving because really you don't wanna freeze. When you're benching, you don't wanna come up and freeze. It puts a lot of pressure on the muscles and that's when stuff ends up tearing. You actually wanna keep a fluid motion. So one spotter will come in and just help you up as soon as it, as soon as you start to stop. Whereas there's another type of spotter and it's more for advanced lifters who know when their point is of when they can't get it and that's it's the method I prefer is where I actually ask for help. So Isaac knows not to come in unless I'm like, all right, help, or say something like Isaac or help. Some, some word that they know that they need to come in and lift the bar up off you. But other than that, they're gonna watch me and just make sure you know it doesn't just crush me or anything like that. Because there's some times where some of the advanced lifters, they'll get it halfway up, freeze for a second, and then push it the rest of the way up. And if it was a normal spotter, they would have helped you and you didn't really need help, so it takes away from you a little bit. Spotters are also extremely important if you're gonna do anything with a barbell where you do negatives, so they can lift the bar immediately. So that's where you go down really slow, as slow as you can, and they help you lift it up immediately. And that's another great thing to have a spotter there for because that's another great workout to do. Second type of spotting is gonna be dumbbell spotting. So again, it's for mainly chest press, shoulder press, anything like that, but with dumbbells instead. And again, there's two different ways to do this. You can either grab the elbows and lift up the elbows, the only thing I don't like about that is if it's someone trying to do too heavy of weight, if you just lift up their elbows, sometimes their arms will go out and it'll actually hyperextend their elbow. So I prefer the second method, which is wrist. It's where you actually grab their wrist right at the weight and help them up that way. That way you know you can direct the weight into the, the right area that you wanna go in. And as a spotter, you should be able to judge when they, need, when they need help and when you can just tell them to drop it. If you're pretty much lifting all of the weight at that point, just tell them to drop the dumbbells. So again, elbows or wrists, I prefer wrists, but make sure your spotter knows which you prefer and what they prefer. Talk about it beforehand so it's not a surprise to either of you mid-lift. The third type of spotting is going to be for squats. So whether you're on a Smith machine or a regular, or just doing free weight squats, uh, it kind of comes in play more with free weight squats. But a, a squat spotter has to, one, be careful, and two, um, know what he's doing. So a lot of people you'll see like grab the elbows, they'll, they'll try to grab the bar, or they try to do random stuff. What you wanna do is really get underneath of them and grab their lats and help their lats up, keeping their back straight so it doesn't put too much pressure on their back. It helps them get it up. They don't lean forward too much and fall. But also, this is where you need to be in communication. If you know you can't get up and you know the spotter isn't helping you enough, you have to let the spotter know to move because that's when you're actually gonna have to drop the weight off your shoulders and you don't want to drop it on their arms if they're behind you close and tight. But with squatting, spotting, it is kind of awkward because you're, right you're right up once in one, but that's the safest way to do it and pretty much lift it with them. So you pretty much attach to them, grab them by the last and lift it with them and really help them up. Deadlifts and stuff like that, you don't really need a spotter. Um, sometimes you'll see in big events and stuff, they'll stand behind them in case they pass out because that's usually the most common thing with deadlifts um, is usually blacking out or passing out, same with squats, so they'll catch them. But they don't really need a spotter for that. All the other workouts should be on machines. You, they're assisted, you just drop the weight, you just let go, and they'll go back to normal. But for these other workouts, it is essential to have a spotter. If you don't have one, ask someone to help you in the gym if you're gonna max out. You don't wanna be the guy maxing out on bench and then almost dropping it on your chest or dropping it on your head because you couldn't get it. But all that wraps up everything, guys. Check us out on social media. Keep following us. Keep liking and subscribing. And keep sharing the videos with your friends.